Well, good morning, everyone. Myself, Harish Chandra Anantram, and I'm presenting uh, this work, the Pharmacogenomics and MicroRNA Regulatory Networks in Psoriasis. Recently, I completed my PhD viva by this work. It was an eight years work, and the supervisor's name is Dr. Daniel Alexonen, Associate Professor and Head Department of Biomedical Engineering at Obama University, and the doctoral committee members, Dr. Muniraj, Head of the Department uh, Genetics, Madras University, and Uma Mageshwari, head of assistant associate professor now in the Department of Biotechnology, University of Madras. And with respect to examiners, foreign examiners is Dr. James, medical microbiologist, parasitology lecturer, and the nominee of uh, the foreign examiner is Dr. Jay Kantan, professor and head department of bioinformatics at Upper University, Karakuri. And Indian examiner. Is Dr. Karthi Raman, Associate Professor, Department of Biotechnology, IIT Madras. And with respect to the introduction of my work, as everyone knows, psoriasis is an autoimmune disorder, and both genetic and environmental factor play a significant role. And with respect to the pathogenesis, exact mechanism is still unknown. We are trying to understand the mechanism with respect to the principles of system biology, and obviously, genomics uh, is the key data for uh, system biology. And with respect to the prevalence in worldwide, it's twice uh, common in males compared to females. And uh, in India, in world population, it's 2%. And with respect to African Americans and Asians, the range is between 04 to 0.7%. And these are uh, the vital uh, comorbidity occur with psoriasis and it can lead to cardiovascular disorders also. And with respect to the era of pre-genomics and post-genomics, HapMap project and genome-wide association uh, studies uh, were uh, the important studies in post-genomics. And with respect to the recent uh, developments, we got a lot of uh, SNPs and haplotype and it's all uh, possible due to the high throughput uh, genomic facility and with respect to the objectives uh, i have taken four approaches that is uh, in top down approach i have looked for associated uh, genes in bottom up approach i have looked for uh, expressed genes in direct approach i have looked for the pharmacogenomic uh, hits that's the snps and in indirect approach i have looked for the specific transcription factors which modulate and remodulate the network and the core objective is to find a novel network motif and uh, reconstruct the pathway by the principles of mathematical model. And with respect to the literature review, uh, it's evident that gene regulation play a vital role uh, in the physiology as well as the pathology. And the structure of uh, regulatory network is associated with the profile of transcriptome it is highly evident by a lot of RNA-6 studies and Liu was the person who figured it out. And with respect to the methods, the rest of the protocol is the same, only the gene set uh, varies. And as you know, in all uh, these methods, I have uh, analyzed the pathways and uh, tried uh, reconstructing the pathway. And with respect to the results, like though a lot of MA um, RNA binding uh, with the mRNA of those genes, the thermodynamical feasibility is important. I have taken only the sets with thermodynamical feasibility. And then uh, it's not only uh, theoretical based, you have a lot of experimental uh, proofs also. Like this uh, specific transcription uh, factors binding is uh, illustrated uh, from the UCSC genome browser. The exact chromosomal position and the variance uh, represent. And a lot of uh, hits which I have obtained uh, in my uh, regulatory network, I have looked at the literature in the associated pathways. You have a, a high level of associations in uh, recent studies. And it's not only up to the transcriptional uh, repression, it's also the translational repression to form the regulation.
and uh, the novel target which i found is actl led it is to be explored in the psoriasis and with respect to protein protein interactions i have looked for the proteins associated with the transcription factors and the only difference between uh, the normal protein and the transcription factor is the dna binding uh, motif and these are the pathway association and uh, this pathway is highly significant that is the cytokine chemokine receptor interaction and these are the results of the network and uh, when it comes to mathematical modeling the synthesis uh, is uh, given uh, the higher priority and the degradation is given the lower priority so this is given in uh, positive and this is given in negative and these are the specific network motifs obtained uh, from the network it is cytoscape used to construct the network and uh, cytohubber predicts the specific motif uh, based on the parameters and the parameters which i have used are uh, clustering uh, coefficient multiple uh, network correlation and demystifying multiple network correlation and these are uh, the specific network motifs which uh, drive the psoriasis network and once again the thermodynamical feasibility of the analysis and this is followed by the regulatory network uh, the, and the other approaches and these are the specific network motifs in bottom up approach followed by protein protein interactions and here also we have a trying uh, trying to model the network and with respect to direct approach we have looked for the specific uh, snps in snps is not only in the promoters you can see it's in the intron splice sites everywhere we have taken all these snps and here we explain uh, the core model it's not psoriasis alone like uh, some genes are associated with uh, autoimmune disorders like rheumatoid arthritis and systemic lupus erythematous and metabolic syndrome and uh, etc and here also you can see a lot of autoimmune diseases like inflammatory bowel disease now so all these are comorbidities actually and um, it's highly involved in cellular communication so you can consider these novel targets as a biomarker and uh, with respect to the direct approach you have got uh, the constructed network and uh, this is after applying uh, the statistical algorithms like the key factor like mthfr uh, gene is the main network motif which triggers this network and the activation um, is explained by the transcription factor binding and here as i told you it's not only the transcriptional repression it's also the translation and direct approach and this particular mrna 125a3p is highly associated with psoriasis but x to be explored but this is explored a lot in uh, cancer and it's the pae3k pathway which i have discussed a lot in the final results with respect to the indirect that is the transcription uh, factor based uh, binding and it's not only the duplex it can also form canonical uh, triplex that is two mrnas combined together also can regulate the network and uh, in this approach is um, notably it's the htl1v infection that can also give rise to psoriasis in some conditions and when it tries comes to the modeling part it's the epidermal hyperplasia which is uh, the pathogenesis starting point in psoriasis and il23 is a novel biomarker which induces uh, the epidermal hyperplasia to get uh, the psoriatic lesions in the skin and modeling uh, follows assigning uh, variables and uh, allowing the computer to understand biology and these are uh, the parameters given for stimulation and the rate of change of parameters were uh, altered based on the mechanisms 
and with respect to i have told about uh, individual approaches now i have got uh, individual hits from the individual approaches and then uh, try to construct the whole network on the base of combinations and with respect to the m code this is a highly optimized tool for network detection because in those tools uh, the network uh, was a little less you had a very few number of genes and here it's a computer analysis contains a lot of genes and a lot of interactions and also we have used uh, this m code uh, model to optimize it and then uh, the tm uh, rec2 what it uh, does is that it gives a cascade of the reaction there we have got uh, some hits but how the cascade it is uh, the linear uh, reaction or whether it's a reversible reaction or it's an irreversible reaction that can be done uh, from this uh, tm rec uh, tool and we have analyzed all uh, the network motif in the pathways and as you can uh, see with respect to psoriasis uh, there is a high level of association of uh, the disease dar represents the disease association ratio and these are uh, the key um, regulators and this is the key network which uh, triggers the pathogenesis and specific uh, hubs of the network uh, were analyzed and finally like uh, till now we have analyzed uh, the networks individually and uh, the computerial analysis with respect to the transcriptional and translational repression and finally we are trying to understand in the biological system how it works the pathway how it uh, varies with respect to the cells and uh, with respect to the organism for the hits we got this specific uh, pathway is highly upregulated that is eg uh, if for signaling pathway and uh, i have done uh, this in two ways one uh, with respect to the control set and one with respect to my set as you can see there is a very good correlation the tyrosine uh, kinase resistance is associated with signaling and the specific network motifs were uh, summarized with respect to all kind of analysis and finally we have tried to understand uh, the pathogenesis of psoriasis like from the complex mechanism i have broken down uh, the problem into a single mechanism and reconstruct uh, the whole model to understand the process we have uh, got little hits from the study and uh, further we have to improve the study with respect to simulations and uh, various uh, conditions and uh, we also require more experiments to validate our uh, mathematical model simulations and the network uh, we got and the further work is uh, simulation of the regulator network with various parameters to identify the significance of mrns and this is a recent publication of ours in 2018 elsevier journal of uh, biocatalysis and agriculture biotechnology impact factors 2 and these are uh, some additional papers which we have published uh, in the past and i have also presented uh, the work in international and national conferences and these are uh, some of the key findings which we got and we have published it the tnf is uh, highly associated uh, with nf kappa b1 like in autoimmune disorders this explains uh, the z score actually along with the p value and this results is uh, from uh, mir map actually that uh, gives some thermodynamical feasibility with respect to mrnas and mrnas and uh, foreign examiner uh, asked some key questions like uh, can you draw a theoretical framework for this yes we can develop a pipeline for regulatory analysis from this study and um, can this model be used in reality yes with respect to a small clinical study we can test this model and what kind of biomarker this uh, 125a3b it uh, has to be a therapeutic biomarker because uh, the polymorphism c6770 is associated with mthfr gene it's already reported 
but it's uh, explored well in cancer, but not uh, in psoriasis. But you do have autoimmune uh, mechanisms in cancer. And the be best example is the phosphoinositol uh, 3 kinase pathway occur in cancer as well as in uh, autoimmune disorders. And from, is it possible to identify the exact link between psoriasis, arthritis, and streptococcus pneumonia? Yes. Because infectious and autoimmune diseases are based on specific network motif only, and you have do have core so we can have a link. And with respect to in, uh, the purpose of uh, mathematical uh, modeling and differential equations in the sections, to explain uh, the activation of transcription factors and the repression of MARNAs in gene regulation, and uh, to explain the activation of interleukin-23 uh, in inducing epidermal hypoplasia, and the activation of cytokine chemical receptors in uh, nf kappa v pathway or certain treatment more promising than others. Obviously, the degree parameter, because degree is more important in uh, most of the network analysis studies. And in our studies also, we have experimental evidences uh, for the parameter degree. How do you exactly extend this to other diseases? Yes, this is possible by uh, constructing a pipeline and uh, detecting the minor variations in signals. You don't have much uh, variations, only minor variations will be there. If we detect those variations, we can. And the most promising target to tackle psoriasis based on this is HSA MAR uh, 125A3P. Therapeutic biomarker evident. And the forum is open for further discussions.